Hi, this is Jim Kramer with our energy expert, Dan Dicker. Dan, got people all over the map. I had Boone Pickens on last week saying oil's going to 70. Goldman Sachs comes out with this $45 call. I don't know how much these calls really do matter. I'd like to figure out uh, what stocks you're looking at uh, and whether the, um, the calls themselves are worth anything. Well, I think it's important to note and, uh, that uh, we have always said that, that oil should act in a, in a range between uh, $45, which Goldman is calling for like a double dip, which in fact we, we said that oil was a little high priced, and $60, which we always thought was a little bit higher. Because what happens when oil gets up to $60 is that some of these uh, non, these wells that haven't been um, right. completed, they take the tarps off and right. oil comes spewing back out. So you get this kind of double dip, kind of um, uh, recession in oil that happens if prices stay higher for but a the, while. But it's such a local call. I mean, I think that if Europe turns around, I mean, Boone Pickens' call was that the rest of the world's getting stronger. And if that's the case, the, you know, they can take out some capacity, add capacity, but the fact is the demand is stronger worldwide. Well, some of it is, is demand is stronger, but again, I've always been of the opinion that this is a, a bust cycle that has to play itself mm -hmm. out. That's not a short-term thing. To me, that's at least four or five quarters, and so uh, in this particular case I'm with Goldman in terms of there being a range be us being range bound for a while now be aware that after that range is broken over the course and this does play itself out I'm calling for $200 oil because I think we run straight into a production uh, um, um, a shortage oh boy, I'm so not there Dan but that's, that's all right you that's know right. I, I think we have disagree. to run into a production shortage because uh, all of this capex that has come out of the market will appear as a production shortage, but it won't appear for several quarters. But this is the kind of cycling that I think we're in the midst well, of I think right that's, now. I, you know, I, I'm not there, but that's okay. Right. Uh, well, that's why I wrote the book. Right. Jim. Now, right. um, Simrex, uh, price to deal 109, 6 million shares. Company's really doing well. Got great Permian, mid-continent assets. Stock's already up to 112. Uh, still an opportunity if you didn't get in the deal? Uh, absolutely. I, I, you know, this is one of my long-term shale right. players. They are not the ones who have, um, without any discipline, just drilled uh, randomly inside the Permian. They're still mostly a gas player. They very slowly moved their way into shale oil, and they're doing everything right. And they're doing it slowly, and they don't need the secondary as much as some others have needed right. it. This is a fine-run company with fantastic assets who, as I can see, is doing it all right. This is the one to have when this whole uh, bust cycle kind of edges its way out and we see oil again go towards $150 well, uh, a barrel. Last question, if we use your high price on oil, how right will David Einhorn be on these frackers? Well, he's going to be, in the short term, he's going to find himself, he's going to find himself with a couple of uh, players who have overextended themselves that he can point to and say, oh, I was right about those guys. But about the ones that he's talking about, for example, like Pioneer, it's going to be uh, outrageously yeah, long. Yeah, we're, we're owners of EOG, fractional owners. I totally agree with you, Dan, on the individual stocks. Thank you so much. Right.